So I am back with the lovely Diana McDonald, and we're going to continue discussing the pro smooth at the Billy Dance Board Championships 2021. So our champions were Travis and Jamie Tuft. I don't think it was really any surprise that they won all four dances. Um, once again, I haven't seen them for so long, but uh, they looked at, they looked in very, very good form. So. What did you think? Well, I mean, I'm a tough critic on them because I, I do work with them a lot. And um, just like with everybody else during the pandemic, uh, most couples saw it as a time to really rip apart their mechanics, their choreography, their look, and, and take a look at it from the outside and see what you don't like, right? Um, and they did a lot of work. They found things that they really didn't like. You know, when you're, when you're competing often, right? And I, I think this is something that all the newer up and coming couples need to recognize as well. When you're competing super often, which when the competition schedule is normal and the pandemic is not looming all around us, people tend to just go everywhere because they can. And there's mm -hmm. quite a schedule on the NDCA roster, right? But for the dancing, you can only go so long at a time before you have to take a, take a break for yourself and be able to evaluate what you're currently doing. Because there is like this much difference between well-rehearsed and stale. Yeah. Or well-rehearsed and boring and and you get into that place where you sort of skim on an autopilot all the time. And it works every week, sort of, but it's not doing anything. It's not producing anything new. And as we all get back into normal life and schedule, the want is going to be to get on the floor every weekend. But I will tell you all, and I know you think you don't want to give your, your competitors a chance to be on the floor when you're not there, but there's, a value to taking time in which I hope that you use the pandemic time well in the first place to step away from it for a few weeks and and analyze and look at what you're doing and try to see what can be remedied by you spending a few weeks training again you know and I know that even after just getting back on the floor I also find that some people have been stuck in the studio by themselves with no guidance for a long time. And that doesn't necessarily, even though you might be hitting those boards super hard and trying to do your very, very best work alone, you don't mm -hmm. have that third eye there staring at you and working for you. So now, now that people are getting back onto the competition floor, now is the time you get some videos of you in action against other competitors. And then you need to take that stuff and take it back into the studio and look at it against your competitors or consult your coach and look at it and go, what, what isn't working or what's working really well that we need to capitalize on. There's, there's guidance to be had there either by doing it with yourself on a video <clears throat> or possibly getting a coach to come in and, and actually look at what at that is that you're doing. Otherwise this period of time between April, and September leading up to USDC isn't going to be as lucrative as what you want. You don't have to compete every, every single weekend. You know, that's just my feeling. Um, as far as, as Travis and Jamie go, though, I do think that they, they made a lot of good choices during the pandemic and worked real hard on certain aspects of their dancing that they were trying to create. Everything's a work in process. You know, everybody's trying to do the best that they can. I think that they have capitalized and know very well um, that their volume and their strength and their legs and movement are are key to what they're doing. And they obviously they do beautiful effects overlapping with the cabaret field and stuff like that. So those things come easy to them. So those are definitely things that pull attention and create focus and dynamics for them as a couple that some other couples don't really entertain in their work. And um, I look forward to seeing how they continue to train between now and September to see uh, how much they can push out of their bodies and and really just put on a great show. 
I uh, I was impressed the way that they that they created space for themselves because at times the floor the floor wasn't massive. It was big, but it wasn't massive. And there were certain I think with some of the especially in the semi final with a lot of newer couples, there were a few yeah, there were a few bumps, traffic jams going on. And they just seemed to be able to manage the space so well. Like it really showed their experience. Correct. Well, right. And it's also being able to read one another, isn't it? It's being able to have that rapport together mm -hmm. and that communication as a couple together to be able to anticipate like, oh, I know him, he's going to go inside. Or I know him, he's going to go around the outside. Or I know him, he's going to add more natural turns. You know, and you can't possibly uh, do that as a new couple. You, you have to do that no. as, a, as a seasoned couple that really really has had a lot of experience in communicating non-verbally on the floor in the heat of the moment. So yeah, and they've got great skill there. Yeah, so Travis and Jamie, as always, a great performance and congratulations on becoming uh, the uh, Philly champions for 2021. So Diana, obviously we're doing this virtually tonight. Uh, the plan was that we were actually going to, you were going to be sitting at the bar with me discussing this tonight, but circumstances are beyond our control. So we are doing it over Zoom. As always, I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to come. And, you know, you have so much knowledge in all of the styles and it's just great that the uh, couples get to hear what you think. And especially after you've judged them. So thank you so much. Anytime, Chris, anytime. Cheers. And guys, anything you want to know about our small little dance worlds, go to www.dancebeat.com. If you want to see all of the videos of every Pro-Am Scholarship finalist, amateur finalist, pro finalist, pro rising star finalist from Philly 2021, go to www.dancesport.com supershag.com. Cheers, guys. And once again, thank you, Diana.